Hey, what's going on guys? Jakeford and Tech here, and today we're going to be going on Dolphin Emulator and trying out some GameCube games. Um, I've been really into some emulation stuff lately. I've been running emulators on Raspberry Pis, some older PCs lately, but I haven't done any on a modern day PC build. So for today, we're going to be using the ITX build that I've done. Um, if you guys follow the channel, you guys have probably seen the videos of that build vlog. It's a ITX PC built inside the NKS M1. It's got a i5 8600K. We're running a RTX 2060, 16 gigs of RAM. So pretty good system. It's all air cooled. But we're gonna run the uh, Dolphin emulator with some GameCube games, and we're gonna see how it runs. So I haven't had the best of luck running the Dolphin emulator on some older PCs that I've messed with lately. But with a newer rig like this, it should be no problem. And we're gonna kind of tweak up the graphics settings and see how much we can upscale the graphics to really make these games look good. So with that out of the way, let's get started. <laughs> Alrighty guys, here we are on my desktop. So I think I'm gonna try and as you can see on the screen right now, we're just using my left 1080p panel. I think we're just gonna try and play Dolphin on that screen instead of like the ultra wide. You know, that's a little bit more comfortable for me. This might be better for viewing purposes. This is it, this is Dolphin Emulator 5.0. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen lots of different videos with people running different emulators this is probably the most common one for uh, GameCube and Wii so I haven't messed with a whole lot of the settings in here but right now I'm gonna check on my controllers make sure it's working properly and I do have a profile for my Xbox one controller which is what we're gonna be using today so we'll give it a try make sure my controller is working first. I have loaded into a game and it wasn't working. So this is a list of ROMs I have right now. One I have played and I'm familiar with is Pokemon Coliseum. So that's probably what we'll play first. Um, let's go over the graphics settings real quick. Click on graphics. Um, I have it fixed to 16 by 9. Um, by default I think it's in auto but I've had some issues where the screen size will kind of switch back and forth in different areas of a game which was kind of weird so now I have it on forced 16 by 9 um, enhancements this is where you can start upscaling the resolution and I have it right now on six times native which is basically 4k um, don't have anti-aliasing but I just left all these the same. Really the internal resolution is the only thing I changed. And it makes quite a difference. A lot of these games look pretty good. Uh, I can actually go back down to the native resolution. Which is 640 by 528 to start with. Just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like before and after. So we'll start with that. And let's open up uh, Pokemon Coliseum. Yes, yeah, so I already. This is actually the only GameCube game I've played so far on Dolphin Emulator. So, this is it. As you can see, it is pretty fuzzy from the looks of it. But as you saw, we are running pretty, pretty low resolution. And that can all be upscaled, which is what I'm going to show you. But we are running at, it's, I believe it is native 30 FPS on this game. So it's running at its native frame rate. Now I'm gonna go ahead and upscale it. I'm not sure if I can do it while I'm in game, but let's give it a shot. I'm gonna go to graphics. And let's bring it back up to, and yeah, it worked. So now you can see that it is much more clear quite a difference and it's really cool to see a GameCube game upscaled I think the really cool thing about this is these are older games obviously but 
especially with this art style, I really feel like these games graphically hold up even today. Like this looks pretty good. Get some footage for you guys in battle. But yeah, the upscaling really cleans up the graphics very nicely. In 640, especially stretched out on a 1080p panel, it really gets stretched out and I think almost like pixel density becomes an issue, as expected. But once upscaled, this looks like really good. And like I said, I really think it holds up in today's day. But as you guys can see, the graphics in battle too look really good. The animations look pretty good. So we're going to try Super Smash Bros. Melee, which I have not yet tried on, on here. So I'm going to see if this works. I used to play this all the time on GameCube back in the day. Tell you the new Super Smash Brothers on Switch is awesome. I mean, no complaints there. Lots of characters, all sorts of stuff. But this does bring back some really good memories. I guess the game's gonna help me out. Knows I suck. Yeah, the button mapping's a little bit weird. I think I have like Dolphin Emulator mapped out as where the Xbox buttons actually are. But this is, of course, supposed to be set up for a GameCube. This game, so that will kind of weird up your controls on certain games. Oh yeah, and talking about the game performance right now, you can see uh, we're still running at 60 FPS, which I think is this game's native res uh, native FPS rather, just because this is a high speed fighting game. So this is another really cool game. This is uh, Super Mario Sunshine. This is the one I used to play quite a bit back in the day. I forget how the beginning of this goes. And as you can see, it looks a little pixelated. So I've kind of come to find out that it's these little sequence change uh, animations that are kind of killing the frames. So they get pretty low during those and pretty laggy. But the gameplay, it seems to be fine, which is a plus.
cool thing about dolphin dolphin emulator too is if there's a method in game to save a game it will actually apply it to a file in this dolphin emulation structure which is pretty cool And one last emulation I wanted to try was Zelda the Wind Waker. So we're going to try that one and see how it runs. And this is another one I have not yet tried. So we're both going to be seeing this kind of firsthand. But as you see, the upscaling looks pretty nice. We went back up to the 4K upscaling. So I'm not sure if the animations in this are going to kill our frame rates, but... Probably not if it's just little clips like this. And it doesn't look like I can, like I can skip this, but I'll probably skip this in the video because this is going to be pretty boring. Alright, and this game's looking pretty good so far. And I don't have any idea how this game starts out. It's been such a long time since I've played it, but this is definitely an all-time favorite to many in the Zelda franchise. So as you guys can see right now, this game is at 30 FPS, and I'm pretty sure that's native for most of these GameCube games. Uh, Super Smash Brothers might be the exception, but game runs really smooth so far but this is kind of as expected on a system like this you should be able to run these games no problem um, like I said other systems that I have tried lately like the Raspberry Pis and some older like uh, Dell Optiplex systems, uh, older Lenovo, mini PCs, um, got one from HP, which I'm going to be doing a video on making a old PC an emulation station, so to speak. But those PCs, I do have issues running Dolphin a lot of times, so I decided to try it on my primary PC, see how it runs, and so far it's pretty good. Yeah, this is another title I feel like really holds up graphically, even in today standards, you know? I mean, it doesn't look... It's a different art style, I feel like, compared to Breath of the Wild, but... I mean, Breath of the Wild is a really good-looking Zelda game. I mean, best to date, more than likely, in everybody's opinion. But, I mean, these graphics definitely hold up in today's world, I feel like. So guys, that's pretty much it for Dolphin Emulator. If you're like me and you really had a love and a passion for some of the older GameCube games and really enjoyed playing games on that console, um, Nintendo Wii, that's another console I really enjoyed. Um, this is an awesome option if you want to kind of, if you don't have those consoles anymore and you want to get back into playing those games. Um, an emulation software like Dolphin is probably the way to go these days in playing some semi and um, full retro games and as you guys saw a system like this really ran these emulators quite well um, and as I mentioned I've tried other systems and it depends I think a lot of it is based on settings you can do a frame skip setting in Dolphin emulator which is what a lot of people do if they're running it on a Raspberry Pi or a some lower end hardware just to get it more playable because once that frame rate starts dropping below the 30 fps mark quite a bit it gets to be unplayable but not only are we looking at really good game performance as far as frame rates go the graphics once they're upscaled look really really nice especially on some of these older games alrighty guys that's going to kind of wrap up this video i really hope you guys enjoyed this one i kind of threw it together kind of quick but I've been messing with a lot of emulation stuff lately, different operating systems on these older PCs and Raspberry Pis, but I haven't really found anything in that realm to play uh, GameCube and Wii games. 
and something that could run Dolphin Emulator. So, as you saw in this video, I decided to put it on my daily desktop rig and it ran flawlessly. So now it's something that I could really go back and enjoy some of the older GameCube games and maybe some Nintendo Wii. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more tech related videos, make sure to give us a subscribe. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.